हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आरती कर्णुके असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजिनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऐट तुलसीराम जी गायकवाड़ पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर एग्रीगेटेड विथ नैक ए प्लस ग्रेड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बिल्डिंग डिजाइन एंड ड्रॉइंग सो इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लेटरिंग विच इज यूज इन बिल्डिंग ड्रॉइंग सो basically lettering is the most important terms while we are going to design the drawing or any type of the drawing so let's start so intent is the to understand the skill of writing in uniformity so these are the contents lettering different types of lettering and assignment of course so first is the what is lettering so as we know that the lettering is the writing of the titles dimension notes and other important particulars on a drawing is called as the lettering so it is an important part of a drawing however accurate and neat a drawing may be drawn its appearance is spoiled and sometimes its useful is impaired by poor lettering so lettering should therefore be done properly in clear legible and uniform style so it should be in plain and simple style so that it could be done free hand and speedily so uh, i would like to tell you one note in this so uh, when we are going to use of a drawing instrument in the lettering takes considerable time and hence it should be avoided efficiency in the art of lettering can be achieved by careful and continuous practice so lettering is generally done in the capital letters different size of letter are used for the lettering purpose the main titles are generally written in 6 mm to 8 mm sizes so basically we are going to discuss in detail uh, in the next slides so sub title are uh, written in 3 mm to 5 mm size so the width of majority of letter is equal to the height all letter should be uniform in shape slope and size and shading uh, generally h or hb grade pencil is recommended for the lettering lettering expect for the dimension figure should be underlined to make them more prominent so basically there are two types of the lettering single stroke letter and gothic letters ठीक है सो लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाय वन सो इन दिस सिंगल स्ट्रोक लेटर्स द बिरी ऑफ इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज आई एस नाइन सिक्स जीरो नाइन टू थाउजेंड वन रिकमेंडेड सिंगल स्ट्रोक लेटरिंग फॉर यूज इन द इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग सो दीज आर द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ लेटर्स आर यूजली एम्प्लॉयड इन द मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग ड्रॉइंग द वर्ल्ड a single stroke should not be taken to mean that the letter should be made in one stroke without lifting the pencil so it actually means the thickness of the line of the letter should be such as is obtained in the one stroke of the pencil so the horizontal lines of the letter should be drawn from left to right and vertical or inclined lines from top to bottom so uh Uh, there are two types of the single stroke line so first is the vertical and uh, another one is the inclined so so uh, next is the pencil techniques so of course uh, uh, the pencil for the lettering on most surface are the h and hb grades hold your pencil in the position as shown in the figure it should make approximate a 60 degree angle with the paper as you can see in the figure also so uh, there are uh, when so in the free hand lettering so uh, if we are going for the free hand lettering so developing good lettering is a personal skill which takes practice of course it takes practice if we are going for the free hand lettering then the letter must be formed properly they must be open shape and very legible pull the pencil or a pen across the paper all lettering strokes should be pulling motion press down the heart when using a pencil so as you can see in the figure how uh, to 
hold pencil so uh, architectural hand lettering is done in the pencil using light guidelines and where are some important rules to follow so good architectural lettering does not go above or below the guideline and the letters are all uniform in the shape and size so there is an example of the good architectural lettering do not let any letters lean or go above or below the line as you can see in this example so this is the vertical capitals so as we already discussed that the all uh, letter should be uniform in shape uh, slope and side shade and uh, spacing the shade and slope of every letter should be uniform throughout a drawing so for maintaining the uniformity in size thin and light guidelines maybe uh, first uh, we have to draw and lettering uh, may uh, then be done between them so the vertical capital letters are preferred for most technical work then the straight light, uh, line letters uh, you can see in the figure that how can we write vertical capital letters so most of the letters are slightly narrower then they are tall the shapes of the letter are as open as possible letters with the small loops and crossing strokes so as you can see how it write so this sequence is recommended to ensure that each letter is correct width in the relation in height for example form the two vertical sides of the h and m uh, from the top of the t first as you can see in the figure how uh, the vertical sides of h uh, and m and t so the h and the n are slightly narrower than they are tall the t and the m are just as wide they are tall so uh, next is the single stroke gothic lettering so uh, there is a procedure of the straight letters and numbers so we have to discuss it one by one so step one is first draw two horizontal lines of any length at the distance of 10 mm apart from each other then step number two then draw vertical lines between the two horizontal lines at a distance 10 mm apart from each other step number three is then write down the capital alphabets letter within each box in such a way that each letter of alphabet should touch the boundary of the respective box only like in the same way write down full a b c d up to the z step number four is as per the procedure described above write down the numbers from 1 to 0 in one line so this is the example of the vertical engineering lettering as you can see you must try to uh, write it so next is the incline letters so Inclined letters lean to the right, the slope being 75 degree with the horizontal. The size of a letter is described by its height. According to the height of letter, they are classified as lettering A and lettering B. So, uh, we will discuss lettering A and lettering B in the further slides. So, the single stroke inclined capital letters, uh, I will show you the figure also. The lower case letters are uh, usually used in the uh, in the drawing so vertical and inclined lowercase alphabets uh, are uh, i will show you uh, you in the figure so you have you can having uh, some exact idea of it so the width of the majority of uh, letters is equal to the height so uh, 
first draw two horizontal lines of any length at a distance 10 mm apart from each other then draw vertical lines between the two horizontal lines such that each vertical line should be inclined at an angle of 75 degree with the horizontal line and each line should be at the distance of 10 mm apart from each then the step number three is the then write down the capital alphabets letter within each box in such a way that each letter of alphabet should touch the boundary of respective box only like in the same way write down the full abcd then fourth step is as per the procedure described above uh, write down the numbers from 1 to 0 in the new line so this is the example of the inclined engineering lettering so uh, these are the some uh, recommended size of the lettering so uh, items and size given so drawing number in title blocks and lettering denoting uh, cutting plane section so the size is 10 mm 12 mm like title of the drawing uh, the size is 6 mm 8 mm subtitle and heading uh, size is 3 to 6 mm uh, nodes such as uh, ligands scheduled material list and dimensioning so that the size is 3 to 5 mm so alteration entries and tolerances uh, the size will be 2 to 3 mm so next is the how to draw graph for a lettering so the letters are shown in the graph before drawing the alphabets or numbers of 7 is to 4 or 5 is to 4 or any other ratio of graph is needed. So, first of all, take the height of the lettering and draw two parallel horizontal lines. Then, draw the vertical line for making lines for making square and inclined line at the angle of 75 degree for making graph of inclined letters. So, this is the uh, lettering errors when you tried it when you actually tried it you will uh, find this error in your drawing so th these are the example of single stroke gothic lettering vertical characters in uh, inclined characters and recommended stroke sequences so you must try to uh, write this lettering on your sheet or drawing book so the next is space between letters so the spacing between letters is normally 2 by 10 inch so we will discuss this feature in detail in the next slides spacing between words is normally 6 by 10 inch where h is the cap height then the lettering uniformity so it is important to produce good drawings it is uniform in style, size, inclination, weight and space as we already discussed in the for the previous slides. Then the carelessness might result in a mistake. So when you are going to try this uh, lettering, so you must try your best. You have to try more and more, more and more so that you will get the best result. So these are the common mistakes uh, which happening in the lettering. So, lettering style is not uniform. Then, second mistake, lettering height not uniform. Inclination not uniform. Then, the lettering thickness not uniform. And lettering space is not uniform. So, gothic letters. So, basically, the stem of this single stroke letter, if given more thickness, form what are known as gothic letters so these are the mostly used for main titles of ink drawings the outlines of the letter are first drawn with the aid of uh, instrument and then filled it with the ink so the thickness of the stem may vary from 1 by 5 to 1 by 10 of the height of the letters and the gothic with the thickness equal to the 1 by 7 of the height so basically i have uh, uh, mentioned here so this is the height this is the 
लाइन थिकनेस सो द टू स्टैंडर्ड रेशियो ऑफ एच बाई डी आर फॉलोड सो बेसिकली एच बाई डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन लेटरिंग ए एंड एच बाई डी इज इक्वल टू टेन लेटरिंग बी सो बेसिकली लेटरिंग ए एंड लेटरिंग बी इज द टू टाइल्स टू स्टाइल ऑफ द राइटिंग सो नेक्स्ट सो दिस इज द विथ ऑफ द लेटर ऑफकोर्स एक्सेप्ट फॉर द लेटर आय द हाइट to width that is h by w ratio is most cases is kept as 6 by 5 or width is roughly 83% of the height of the letter so however please note that it is not mentioned in the bis standard so this is the uh, distance between two letters in word so this is the height and uh, this is the e e means minimum spacing between two words minimum spacing between two words minimum spacing between two words so uh, this is b b is the minimum spacing between the base line of two labels so basically uh, this is uh, this is the chart which is recommended for the lettering a so this table shows some possible dimension of the different parameter as defined earlier once the letter height h is scheduled from the top row so so uh, uh, inclined letters lead to be uh, right the slope being 75 degree with the horizontal the size of the letter is described by its height according to the height of letters they are classified as the lettering a and lettering b so for uh, in a type lettering so the height of the capital letter is divided into the 14 20 parts while in the lettering b uh, i will show you the lettering b figure also yeah so uh, mm, what i said that the height of the capital letter is divided into the 14 parts uh, while in lettering b type it is divided into the 10 parts so the height of the letters and the numbers for engineering drawing can be selected for two uh, from 2.5 uh, then 3.5 then 5 then 7 then 10 then 14 and 20 mm according to the size of the drawing the ratio of height to width varies from in case of the most of the letter it is 6 is to 5 so the lettering is generally done in the capital letters different size of the letter are used for the different purposes so the main titles are generally written in a 6 mm to 8 mm size subtitle in 3 mm to 6 mm size while notes dimension figures etc in 3 mm to 5 mm size the drawing numbers in the title block is written in the uh, numbers of 10 mm to uh, 12 mm size so so main titles are generally 7 mm to uh, 7 mm in height and greater depending upon the drawing sheet says of course then the subtitle can be written in 5 mm height or greater then notes and dimension figures in 3.5 mm to or greater so specifically you have to uh, know that the while writing the inclined letters so the angle of the inclined letter is 75 degree so the inclined letters lean to the right at 75 degree with the horizontal so that's all about the lettering see you soon in the next lecture thank you